So today we are going to do a demonstration on how to start building your sculpture. And so there are a couple ways that you can start, just depending on what your project looks like. So in my original sketch here, okay, um, I started with my dog out of metal, and then I'm going to build it kind of like a little cloud bed to sleep on. So the way I want to do this to make it three-dimensional is I want to start with wire. So there's a couple different types of wire um, that we have. This wire that's on the spool is pretty easy to work with and it's, um, you can cut it pretty easily, but it's not the strongest wire that we have. So this is a 14 gauge wire and on the big spool, which I've just cut some pieces from, is the large wire. So this is good for like the base of your sculpture, but it's very difficult to bend. Um, so even though it's stronger, it will be really difficult for very small details, and I'll show you that in just a second. So we're going to start with this wire here, which I've already cut a piece. Now for this, you probably want to use wire cutters. I don't think scissors will work on this. So I have a couple of pairs of wire cutters, and you just need to be careful that you don't cut your finger while you're doing this. So basically, just cut what you need. Try not to take too much extra because little tiny pieces of wire are kind of useless. Um, so just make sure that you're kind of measuring out in your head how much you're going to need to start your project. So I've already cut my wire. And what I actually did, if you can see this, is I kind of made this three-dimensional structure with the wire by just kind of twisting it on itself that kind of re resembles the dog bed that I'm going to be making. So I just cut that wire and all I did was kind of twisted it together. Now it may hurt your fingers a little bit to twist it so you can use some needle nose pliers which I do have over there and they can help you to twist those pieces and those ends a little bit easier especially on the, the thicker wire. So once you have something that's kind of stable like this, this is kind of like my skeleton. This is what's called an armature. Um, so what I can do from this is then put my metal sheeting around it, okay, to create kind of a 3D structure. So important thing when you're working with the metal, if you want to do any sort of details on your metal, so like on mine, I had some details, if you can see there, on the cloud. Okay, you're going to want to put those in first before you attach it to the sculpture because it's going to be very difficult once it's already on there. So when you have your metal cut, then you can decide, okay, what kind of design so I kind of want to draw in the metal. So I'm going to show you that technique before we attach it. So there's a, a variety of tools for you to use, um, and you're going to need some newspaper. So you're going to want to fold that newspaper up so that it's kind of thick. And you might want a bigger piece if you're working with something larger. Then you're going to take your metal, so say I was using this metal to put on my project, and decide what kind of tools you want. Now there's these ones, which are kind of like little stamps, and there's different ones. This one kind of looks like a little moon. Um, there's some letter ones over there. This one's like a little flower design. And then there's also these type of little tools, which you can actually use to draw into the metal. So if I wanted to use these stamps to make a pattern or a texture, put my metal on the newspaper, and then you're going to use a hammer to imprint it into the surface. So then if you see that, and then you can kind of flatten it out a little bit. You can see, I know it's kind of reflective, but you can see the metal that's imprinted into the surface. You can also use these little ballpoint tools to actually draw things into the metal. So if you just wanted to draw in part of your design, you can kind of use that. You can see my swirly line there where I drew things in. So kind of decide what you want. You can do a little practice one on a scrap piece if you want. Um, just to see if you like the texture, but this is going to give your project some more interest. So I've already put some kind of cloud-like designs on this piece of metal, and I folded it up a little bit, but if it were flat, 
So now I'm going to use this, clean up my mess here, on my wire armature that I've created. So um, now this is round. So when you're putting the metal around it, you're going to want to cut it a little bit so that it fits over. But it should fit pretty easily over it. So if you can see what I'm doing here, I'm just kind of going to fit my metal onto my wire and see where I've made these cuts in between here so that my metal actually fits over the wire tightly because you want it to fit tightly around that wire because that's what's going to give it that support and you need to be careful that you don't nick yourself on the metal. But see now I am kind of wrapping my metal around my armature. So this is how you can start. So just start with the wire and making it 3D. So then I can bend and twist my metal to fit the project. Okay, and so then I have half of my little cloud done. Now I can go back in here and flatten it out a little bit, make it a little stronger, make it a little more attached to the wire, but you get the idea. So now I could do another piece of metal to lay over the other side. So you want to make sure it's tightly attached to the wires um, because that's what's going to give it some strength. Little pieces of metal we may be able to hot glue on, but for the most part you're just using the wire. Um, one other little trick you can do, say you need to thread some wire through something, like if I want to take a piece of wire and like have this hanging or thread it through something, you can actually just use a push pin, which I will have over there, to put a little hole in the metal, because you can see, you see the little hole. So that way you can put small pieces of wire through things and connect things that way. So you can just use a push pin to create holes. Or you may just want to have holes in there for decoration, whatever you want. Just be careful with a push pin they're sharp but um, that's another thing that you can do so for the most part you're going to be using this wire and the large gauge wire okay and then the colored wire is you can actually use scissors with and it's more for decoration it's not very strong so you want to make sure that you're using the stronger or this stronger wire and you can see this one so let's say that I had everything done on my project and I wanted to attach this as a base This wire is much more difficult to bend, okay? So it's really hard. So it's just good really for large things or, you know, pieces that you want to stand up. Um, make sure that you're not wasting this wire. Only take what you need. So this is what you should be using to kind of stabilize your project, but it's not good for trying to get really small details in the wire. It just doesn't bend that easily, and it's pretty thick. And that's the one that's on the really big spool um, over on the back counter. So this is my start for my little cloud, for my little dog to sit on. And um, so I would keep doing this. Start with the large things in your sculpture, and then work your way down to the small details. But make sure that if you're going to have any sort of details, um, with these tools that you do that first before you attach it onto your wire.